We are here at ANZ Stadium in a Suba for a massive game between Fiji and Australia. It's not really exactly what you're going to be expecting because these teams are kind of hampered at the moment. They are lacking a little bit of depth. It's a bit of a strange night here in Fiji. You know, the wind is perfect. It is a nice breeze. However, it's also muggy and it looks like it's about to rain a little bit. It's kind of like, it's like the little drips. You know, in the, the darkest sky, you can see like one little drop kind of dropping randomly everywhere. It doesn't look like it's really threatening to rain too much, but it's just a really weird, really, really weird temperature right now. It's nice, but it's hot. It's not hot. It's muggy. It's not muggy. It's not cold. It's not, it's just strange. Yeah, I'm still trying to sweat a little bit. I mean, I've also got about a million buddy exit entry, C box buddy 11. I'm all over the shop. I've got stamps everywhere, so I'm like a clubber right now. But like I was saying, guys, we are here for the Fiji versus Australia. Prime Minister's X I I damn well I game son. It's going to be a ripper one. Cool. Oh, well, is it going to be a ripper one? No, I want to hype it up. I want to get motivated for it. But there's a little bit of doubt that I have for this game. Due to the nines being next weekend, both these teams are missing basically the best players that probably could have been playing in this one. And obviously Australia has just a little bit more depth. Well, a lot more depth than Fiji. Fiji and players tonight, not one of them are in the NRL. They're local based talent. So we're going to get to see, you know, the new in coming uh, breed of Fijians into the NRL potentially, or we're going to be looking into new players who could be coming through the system. It's not about watching the best Fiji play the best Australia, because Australia still are kind of in the depth as well. They are kind of not playing their best players, because obviously next weekend is the ninth, so these two teams are limited in their XIII, but it's still going to be a good game. Well, I hope it's still going to be a good game. I know Australia is going to win, Australia will win, and they'll probably win comfortably, but I just want to see some passion from Fiji. You know, I love Fiji, I live in Fiji, well, basically live in Fiji. My family's Fiji and I absolutely love Fiji and you know that's what I do on this channel. You know, I really get behind Fiji and I can't wait for the Oceana Rugby Sevens. But I just can't see it tonight. I just can't see it tonight. I'm going to get around my boys with my Australian boys. I always get around my Australian boys first. But I just want to see some passion. I want to see some pride and I want to see this game really reach its potential. Not like it's going to be a close six point game or a one point game. I just want to see that passion, baby. But anyway guys, enough talking here. Let's go up into the grandstand and let's go have a crack of time no matter what, son. I'm keen for some rugby league action. You know, the season's finished, the NRL season's finished, but we've got some rugby league action here. The rugby ball comes on, but it's not rugby league, son. Also, the Nines come up next weekend, so we've still got a couple of weekends left to save up for the rugby league season for 2019. But let's go up there, have some fun, soak up the atmosphere. Hopefully, it's a damn well good atmosphere. I always trust in Fiji to bring a good atmosphere. Main thing is, guys, live your passion. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Believe in yourself, because if you believe in yourself, you will achieve what you need to achieve. So let's go up there. Let's go have a great time, baby. Come on. Australia.
fashion and pride, really. No fun against PT there, but uh, <laughs> probably not the best time to call me that. But honestly, you know, the way they run at the, the players, the, the, the way they run at the line is, is really strong, it's really dominant, and, and that's what we're looking for today, you know, that's what we're looking for, these players, to see the improvement, to see them go up against a quality team like you know, the Aussies in this, and even though it's not the first grade Aussies, it's, it's still a quality team of Aussies, like Mitchell Moses, Tyson Purcell, you know. You know, they've got a real, they've got a real solid, solid lineup. A lot of Fiji really test themselves against a quality team like this. Come on, Aussie! Oh, oh that's a big one. Come on! Let's go, baby! Try time. Real quick. Real quick. Okay, that's not, that's a, that's a bit of an ominous sign. Here. That was uh, they didn't even they haven't been tackled once in that score already. But uh, what do you think about the game so far? <laughs> yeah, we're uh, just giving it to watch over the Australian games. Yeah. You know, obviously, you know, they're not all NRL players. They haven't played NRL before. But do you think this is uh, the start of the, the like the, the newcomers for Fiji? Like, are they coming through? Yeah, because uh, I know you can see local talent, but uh, it's not good enough for the Australian right now. Now, next, uh, next week is the, the, the Nines. That's where the main players are. What do you think about that one? Do you think Fiji has a genuine chance? Yeah, because Nines... Uh, <laughs> Less players, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of people yeah, laughing about it. Less number than it's open. Eh? Well, that's what I said before, like it's sevens. Yeah. Fiji's one of the best teams in the yeah. world for sevens, and you know, even nines take away cold players. Yeah. They, could, they could take down teams like Australia and yeah. you know, Tonga and stuff, so yeah. it'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's, so, there's such a huge gap out right. Huge gap out right. Huge gap out right. Oh my god. Can you say that? Come on, go on, Fiji. Oh, what are you doing, my man? Come on, man. 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 Right, 
the post basically. Get around. Oh, see you later. Oh. Yeah, that. Oh, uh, yep. That's a try. Yep. There you go. Let's go, Ozzy. Oh, same song. Yeah, then we're back again. Oh, see you later. Here. I'm here with Jess Effa, mate. Obviously, you know, Fiji won the game. What do you think? Uh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good rugby. So good. Good rugby. Obviously, Fiji rugby, besides this one, has been improving. What do you think about the improvement of Fiji rugby? Doing well. Doing well. Eventually, challenge Australia? Huh? Eventually, challenge Australia? Yeah. Whoa. I hope so. That'd be good. At the nines next week, you think we go to Yeah. Yeah. Anyway guys, that's good news for today's video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up so that you're enjoying this content. Obviously, you know, it was a bit of a blowout. Fiji did end up getting beat quite heavily in the end. But, you know, it was still an enjoyable experience. We all kind of knew it was going to happen. But we all come out here to watch local talent, you know, watch them, you know, new players come out and, and potentially show off their best. And, you know, we obviously saw in the interviews that they're very proud people. They're very proud to have played against some of the best that Australia has to offer. And that's what we're here for, man. We're not here to watch a nail biter, last second, grand final. We're here to watch this local talent and, and watch them go up against the best. And although they did get blown out, there was passion, there was pride, and you know, that's all we've got to appreciate here. It is starting to rain, guys, so I am actually going to head off. It's starting to rain, it's also closing. I can't sleep here. I'm not going to sleep here. We will be back here in about a month's time, or a couple of weeks' time, for the Oceana Rugby Sevens. Definitely get ready for that. If you aren't a part of the BK Army yet, and you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down there and hit the subscribe button. Obviously, that's the only way to join us. And if you love your sport, you've got to go hit that subscribe button. And also, go on a little ding a ling a ling notification bell, skip notification every single time we upload. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.